Hello and welcome to another video. This week I am showing you my process for doing pet portraits. I have put up some pet portraits before on this channel, um, but I thought today I would do a bit of a voiceover as well, just to explain a bit about my process. So I usually start on um, with a pencil sketch, which I play around with and tweak until I'm happy with it. Now my preferred pencil here is a 0.3mm one um, and I like to use a nice smooth board paper such as Bristol board. Um, this is because I am using alcohol markers for this pet portrait so um, I needed the kind of paper that would work best with alcohol markers. So once I am happy with my pencil sketch, I start to line it and usually I don't line very many of the details, but I am experimenting at the moment with my style. So on this particular one, I did kind of go in with a few more details such as the markings on the cat's fur. So um, yeah, I just go for it. I'm not too precious about my work. I find that if I spend too long agonizing over decisions, then I'll never get it done. So I kind of just go for it. And once I have lined my work, I rub, rub the markings out. And for this, I use a putty rubber, um, which I find is the most effective. And then I start to come in with my alcohol markers. My favourite alcohol markers, well not favourites, I have um, a wide range of alcohol markers but the ones that I have the most of are these Spectrum Noir markers and they come in a lot of good shades for doing pet portraits so there's a lot of kind of skin tones and fur colours, um, you know everything from your um, kind of peaches, yellows um, up to browns and greys um, but I do have other, other ranges as well. I've got um, Copics, I've got markers from Tiger um, and various other examples. Um, but I do find that I end up using the Spectrum Noir markers quite a lot for the pet portraits that I do. Um, my method for the alcohol markers is to gradually build up the layers. I usually start with the lightest colours, so that might be um, kind of like a really pale um, yellow, as in uh, this example, or it might be greys um, or even browns. It really depends on the pets that I'm drawing and their fur colours. And gradually I build up to the darker layers. Again, I try not to think too much about this, I just go for it. Um, and it's all about building up the layers. It might not look good whilst you're in the process of doing it, but it should all come together in the end. And that's kind of like the motto I go by when I'm doing my art. You know, if I'm halfway through and I think, oh, I don't like it, it's not working. I don't give up, I keep going. Um, and, you know, nine times out of 10, it ends up being just fine. Um, and I end up really liking it. So yeah, that's all I can say really. When it comes to the end of this video, um, you'll see me adding some extra details. And for that I use colouring pencils and sometimes a little bit of paint, for example, some white gouache comes in handy if I need to um, correct some mistakes um, or adding any white details. Mostly though, I tend to use a white gel pen for a, a lot of the smallest details. Spend the day 
Now. 